In this video we are going to talk about the deadliest animals in the world. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. After understanding that spiders, insects, and snakes are some of the most hazardous species on the earth, you may develop a phobia of them if you didn't already have one. Some are restricted to a single location, such as the Komodo dragon, which can only be found in Indonesia. Others, such as the bull shark, are significantly more common and are therefore more dangerous. In any case, these animals represent the most lethal that Mother Nature has to offer at her most lethal. Cape Buffalo When fully grown, the Cape Buffalo can weigh anywhere from 600 pounds to well over a ton, making it one of the most dangerous animals on the African continent. Because of their position at the very top of the food chain, they have few natural enemies, and these unpredictable animals are known to kill or maim hundreds of people every year as a result of their unexpected behavior. So, what is it about this specific species, sometimes known as an African buffalo, that makes it so hazardous, and, as a result, so valuable to trophy hunters? When they are five or six years old, their horns have fully fused together, serving as a built-in battering ram, and their immense size and weight allow them to easily outmuscle and outlast any predator. Aside from that, they're extremely noisy creatures who will attack in large groups, overwhelming even the cleverest of predators. Box Jellyfish Stunning to behold, box jellyfish are characterized by their translucent bodies and wispy tentacles that glidingly glide through the water. Although most of the dozens of species of box jellyfish known to man are harmless if they brush up against you in the water, there are others whose venom is potent enough to make you sick if they brush up against you in the water, or even kill you. The three most deadly subspecies of the box jellyfish are the hub jellyfish, which are found primarily in the coastal waters of Japan and are known for their aggressive behavior. The small irukandji, which actively hunts prey in the waters of northern Australia, and Karukia barnisi, another highly poisonous Australian jellyfish, are two examples of venomous jellyfish that live in Australia's waters. It is possible to have dizziness, nausea, difficulty breathing, and generalized body pain with even a small amount of their venom. Cone Snail Wait a minute, you're suggesting that snails are potentially lethal? Not all of them, of course, the common garden variety snail is as harmless as a butterfly in most cases. Specifically, we're discussing cone snails, which is the general term used to refer to a diverse collection of venomous, carnivorous, and predatory tropical sea snails, also known as gastropods, that can be found in a variety of sizes, forms, and colors. In general, the larger the cone of the snail, the more poisonous the snail. While the larger snails are known to hunt for small fish, the smaller snails are known to eat microorganisms and a variety of aquatic worms. When they immobilize their victims, they inject their venom into them through a needle-like extension that has been barbed to better latch on to their target. Some venoms are quite mild, while others are potentially lethal. Pufferfish Pufferfish, which are found primarily in tropical waters, have evolved a unique natural defense that helps compensate for their poor swimming speed in water they are highly toxic to other organisms. The level of toxicity can differ from one species to another, and even the location in which the poison is stored can differ. Scientists have discovered venom in the liver, ovaries, and even the skin of certain puffers, according to reports. Despite the fact that pufferfish can be extremely deadly to consume, it is considered a delicacy in Japan and several other nations. It takes a highly experienced chef to successfully remove the venomous sections of the fish and properly prepare it for ingestion, and this takes years of experience. Every year, at least a few people die as a result of pufferfish that has been improperly prepared. Golden Poison Frog These beautifully colored frogs may appear to be harmless as they lounge around in tropical rainforests, but their skin is coated in a highly poisonous venom that paralyzes the nerves of its victims and can cause heart failure and death if not treated immediately. The fact that they're at the bottom of the food chain means that they have a built-in defense mechanism to protect themselves. Indian Cobra These hooded creatures, which are native to Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and, as their nickname suggests, India, are instantly recognized and can grow to be 5 to 6 feet in length. Those who are not treated for their bites can die in as little as 15 minutes if the swelling and paralysis caused by the bite are not treated immediately. 
These critters are particularly deadly because of their proclivity for hunting near dwellings in rural regions, which puts them in close proximity to humans on a regular basis. Deathstalker This scorpion is so deadly that it was given the name death to represent how deadly it is. In addition to its highly poisonous venom, it is known for its extremely quick lunge, which allows its poison stinger to whip over its head at 130 centimeters per second, striking its target before it ever realizes what has happened. These nightmares can be found throughout North Africa, as well as in the arid parts of the Middle East. Africanized Honey Bees When it comes to humans, honeybees are normally docile, spreading pollen and producing honey while avoiding contact with them unless they are threatened, seriously. Your average backyard honeybee is not one of the most dangerous animals and probably wants nothing to do with you. Although they are less vicious than Africanized honeybees, which are the consequence of a 1957 crossbreeding experiment that went awry, they are more likely to swarm and are prepared to chase their victims for miles before succumbing to their injuries. The southern and western United States are also seeing an increase in the number of sightings. They are one of the deadliest animals on the planet, and they are also a product of human ingenuity. Lions Although these sharp-toothed creatures do not kill as many people as you might imagine, they do cause significant harm to those who are unfortunate enough to come into contact with them. According to estimations published in Nature, they kill an average of 22 people every year in Tasmania alone, according to the journal. Polar Bears These colossal hulks are the largest carnivores on the planet, and they have no natural predators, with the exception of humans. While they tend to stay to themselves unless they are agitated or hungry, when they do attack, the repercussions are severe and lethal, especially for children. A growing body of research has discovered that polar bears' aggressiveness against humans is increasing, possibly as a result of climate change bringing them closer to the humans living in their midst. Mosquitoes the common mosquito is one of the smallest and most deadly creatures on our list, measuring no more than 3 mm in length yet carrying the diseases malaria, dengue fever, yellow fever, West Nile virus, Zika virus, and a slew of other deadly pathogens. According to the World Health Organization, mosquitoes are responsible for the deaths of approximately 725,000 people each year and pose a threat to more than half of the world's human population. What's the most terrifying part? These tiny of the deadliest animals are, more than likely, in your home at the time of writing this article. The Great White Shark Despite the fact that they are not quite as vicious as Jaws and other films would have you believe, you do not want to come into contact with one of these predators. Since tracking began, the animal has carried out 314 unprovoked assaults on humans, resulting in the deaths of 80 individuals in total, a modest number compared to, say, the mosquito. Known for their terrifyingly high sensory and tracking abilities, as well as an estimated 300 fangs, these creatures have earned their name. Hippopotamus These animals may appear clumsy and silly, but they are really dangerous, they have an aggressive streak and can run at speeds of up to 14 miles per hour, which is approximate twice the speed at which most humans jog. And if you've ever seen them yawn, you're well aware of how sharp their teeth are. Hippos are responsible for approximately 500 deaths every year, according to the World Health Organization. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.